guys, my name is Grace and today I'm going to be teaching you guys a little bit of the uh, Inkscape program. I'm going to teach you guys a quick intro as to how to get started with the program. Um, real quick before we get into that, I am currently studying electrical engineering here at CSUB and I am an intern for the CSUB Fab Lab. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to get started with Inkscape. Inkscape is the program we use for our laser cutters. And so this video is going to introduce you really quickly to the program and it's going to give you an activity. You're going to go ahead and double click on your icon and it's going to start the program. This is what the main page is going to look like. So the first step we do here is we go to file and document properties and here what you're going to do is you're going to set your units to inches. We tend to work with inches when it comes to using our laser cutter and you're going to set the, the height and width. The bed size for the laser cutter is 24 by 12. So to start off with we're going to go ahead and make a keychain and this keychain is going to be a circle. So you're going to go ahead and click here on your circle vector lines. You're gonna go ahead and drop it. Now you you might have a hard time seeing it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to view, display mode, and you're gonna hit outline. And that's what's gonna show the vector line for it. Okay, so once you have your circle, we're gonna make another circle inside. And that's what's gonna hold our key ring. Okay, so if you want to, let's say my circle isn't very centered, and if you wanted to move it, you're going to click this cursor here, and that's what's going to give you access to all your shapes so that you can move them around. Um, so let's, let's bring this up a little bit. Okay, so you can use your arrow keys to move that around. Now let's say you want to add some text to this. So you can click the A here on the toolbar and that's what's going to allow you to input text. So let's go ahead and add my name to it. And it's okay if the name appears off to the side of the page or not where you want it, that's fine. Again, you're going to grab your cursor up here and once you see these little arrows around, the um, object then that tells you that you can go ahead and have access to it and move it around um, so you guys can go ahead and play with the settings here this corner one will enlarge it stretch it out um, to whatever size you like so there you go that's our keychain now just to make sure every time before we send this to the laser cutter we always want to check our settings for cut so the laser cutter will only recognize the settings if they're in 0 0.001 of an inch, which it is. So if I was to put this in the laser cutter right now, that circle would be set to cut. If it's not in that width size, it, it will not cut. And so at the end, you'll end up with just like an etched surface. So if this box wasn't here and you wanted to make sure that your your cut settings were right you can actually access them through object and then fill and stroke and the first thing you're going to check is fill you're going to uh, check that make sure that the first box is highlighted which in this case it is you can see a darker shade of blue over it and the next step for cutting is you're going to check the stroke paint tab and again double check that the second box is set to cut or is highlighted blue and then the last setting would be set to 0 0.001 and it is so once we know our settings are correct then you would just hit file save as and you would save it as a pdf because that's the format that our laser cutter works with so you would just make sure it's in pdf form and just save it to your desktop it's the easiest way to access it and just hit save and through these you're gonna just go ahead and hit okay we're not changing anything so you're you're okay there and that's that all right guys thank you for watching